Very good. I'm glad you, I really am glad you shared that. Okay, I believe in not. There are a lot of people in the country that are talking about elections these days. Can you imagine that? Uh, in every state, it seems to be. Uh, the only thing I want, the only thing I want to kind of add to your statement, because uh, we've talked so much about Sheriff Lamb, you know, we've talked so much about him. The only thing I'll add to it is uh, I put a post on Facebook today and this 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 is really important to me. If it doesn't sound passionate, it is, is I was raised with people saying, oh, all politicians, all politicians are, uh, you know, corrupt. Uh, they're dishonest. You know, they're bought and paid for. And I was raised with that. And I can hear that every single day that I turn on the, the telev television or the radio. And I posted on Facebook uh, today. I disagree. If anyone tells me that that's the case, well, then they haven't looked at Sheriff Mark Lamb. I'll tell you what. If anyone thinks there's, no, there's, there's politicians out there that wouldn't be great, they haven't looked at Leo Zaki, 32 years old. He's going to be 35 years old if he became government, I, governor, and I still think he'll be the youngest government or governor. I, I don't Google or re, I, let, I don't do anyone else's hell, homework for them, Val. But I think these are young republicarians. I brought it up on the chat the other day, but this is really, really what you're chatting about here, Val, is I believe there's an amazing wave of politicians coming up and within our midst right now. And uh, I'm actually seeing some and analyzing some that are Generation Zs. I know one or two alpha kids that will be maybe president someday. 